All right, we ready for another short one. Let's hit Shift A this time around. Let's make a cube. We did that last time. All right, so here we go. We got a little cube guy. We are going to hide this thing. All right, hit H on the keyboard. Now, you think, hey, I can hit H again. It's going to come back. Nope. Got to hold down Option or the Alt key, and it's back. Okay, so remember that. H and Alt H are going to hide and unhide. Uh, let's scale this guy. So we're going to hit, uh, guess what, letter S. Okay, because what? S and scale, right? Get the connection. Uh, okay, so I'm just scaling this guy around. You'll notice that uh, kind of the same problem we had with, with moving it around by hitting G is that uh, you might not want to do a uniform scale. You might want to just do it on a particular axis. So again, same rules apply. If you hit X, it's going to scale it on the X. Hit Z, it's going to scale on the Z. Hit Y, it's going to scale on the Y. All right, got that. And same thing is going to be true for hitting or for rotating and to do that hit R okay so there you go it's just kind of rotating it willy-nilly but then let's hit Z and you can see it's rotating around the Z and so on like that right so uh, I got those covered it's easy right we're moving right along let me hit undo a few times get the square back to I guess what would be considered normal uh, okay so you can hit the uh, the number keys and let me just check one little thing over here. User preferences, interface, editing, uh, emulate number pad. I do have that checked off, so I can't remember if that makes a difference or not. But uh, So I'm going to start hitting the number keys over here. It's going to change the view for me, so uh, keep your eye over here, front perspective. So I'm just going two, three, four, five, six, I think seven. No, that was not where we were at before. Maybe it was five the top perspective, user perspective. Okay, well, so you can just see you can keep going through there and, um, and, and changing your perspective based on what number you got. And, and there we go, I'm back to, uh, the last one I hit was five. Okay, so what else we got here? Let's duplicate. Um, that seems like, uh, like, that's a good trick. Let's duplicate. So let's uh, hit Shift and D. Okay, and you can see as soon as I do that, it's made a duplication of that guy. And let's not forget, when you want to get rid of those duplicates, you got to hit X to delete, all right? Not just the delete key on the keyboard. Golly, that would be easy. But uh, I guess that's not what it is intended for. What is that intended for? I don't know. Uh, okay, did we get everything in this one? Oh, one more thing. If you are scaling, right? So let's hit S again, scale this guy up. Hold down the shift key and you'll notice that it makes scaling go a lot slower, okay? So otherwise it gets good, you can get pretty big pretty pretty fast. I know that's ideal for some things, but let's uh, let's just hold down the shift key and uh, there you go. All right, uh, I think that's a wrap for this lesson.